Hello, everyone, and welcome to NUTV Cold Calls, where the calls are cold, but the takes are hot. Today is our alumni special, where we will be calling the alumni of NUTV Sports to get their takes on everything today in the world of sports and the world of more sports. Hi, I'm Cassie, and I will be calling Owen Giddesy today. Hi, I'm Mike Passarelli from NUTV, and I'm going to be calling Mike Passarelli from NUTV. I'm going to be calling NUTV legend Joe Barbito. I'm Pearl, and I'm going to be calling sports alum and former co-director Olivia Whitaker. I'm Tommy DiMartino. I'm going to call Tom Gambardella. Hello. Hello, is this Joe? Speaking. Hey, it's, uh, it's Michael from NUTV. You remember me? Holy shit. Hello. Hi, Owen. Hi. It's Cassie. Do you remember me? No. Who is this? This is Tom from NUTV. Are, are you... Is Northeastern trying to ask me for money already? Uh, that's not till the end of the show. Don't worry about that. Henshaw? That's me. Live in the flesh? Well, I suppose they're live in the flesh, but live on the phone? On the phone. Hello? <laughs> the dog is barking. <laughs> Hello, this is Mike. Hello, this is Mike from NUTV. Thanks for calling. I'm curious, what are your hot sports takes? Oh, buddy, Mike. Uh, well, first of all, it's, it's great to be on the show. Uh, so what, what, do you need cakes? I heard it's your birthday today. Happy birthday. What are you, 40, 45? Thank you. Uh, I'm actually 68 years old. I know that, Liv, you are a notorious and well-known NUTV Sports Mets fan. Uh, <laughs> do you want to give me your insights on the upcoming season? Um, I think the Mets are going to win 100 games. Mm-hmm. Valid. The fact that Cookie Carrasco's already got like a hamstring tear. Yeah, not is great. Very on brand. I don't know anyone who's playing for them other than Pete Alonso, but I think that he's pretty solid. You know, I have the same normal feelings. I feel like we're going to have like the good opening day, the good start to the season, and then uh, it's going to be all about weathering that like early summer storm when everyone's hamstrings just snap in two. Uh, you hosted a segment on SNL called the, the, the This Week in Backup QBs, right? I, I remember something to that effect, yes. So what are your takes on the on these backup QB signings? What, what are the hots? What are the knots? I mean, the, the Trubisky to the Bills one is very funny. Trubisky and Josh Allen, they're branches of the same tree, and Josh Allen just got sunshine and Trubisky didn't. The March Madness uh, tournament is going on right now, you know. You know about the March Madness tournament, right? Of, of course, it's madness. I think I want to just give, you know, a quick shout out to the players uh, of all these teams that are in the tournament, you know? They've gone through some really tough times these past couple weeks playing this huge tournament that's going to generate billions and billions of dollars in advertising and marketing revenue, and they're not going to get a cent of it. And, you know, I just, I just think that's really wrong. I also don't see your boy Matisse playing a lot. He played. He's, he's getting, like, he's getting fine minutes. I mean, if there's someone who's not really that good on offense, but he's the best defensive player in the league by far. By whose standards? I mean, I think it's by everyone's standards. Andy Dalton to the Bears after a week of the Bears being like, yeah, we're going to get Russell Wilson, was hilarious. Went to the Colts is weird, because it's like we're all ignoring how bad he was last year. We're like, oh, he's going with Frank Reich. He's going to be good again. I don't know if he will be. You watched the women's hockey game the other day? Man, did I watch the women's hockey game the other day. I had people blowing up my work slack, asking me to come on. and like, hey, can you hop on the call? Can you come do this? Come do that? It's like, no, I can't right now. I'm busy. As a proud alumna, I did enjoy very exciting. I've been in this for, what, 10, 20, 30 years. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. If, if we're not going all the way, who is going all the way? I was thinking about Kendall Coyne, you know, 2015, 2016. BC was also really good then, so mm -hmm. they were always like up against them, which is part of the reason, ultimately, why this was their first... You know, they, they've been really, really good before. It's just, like, Hockey East is so difficult. Um, yeah. and, and BC has finally started to slip, like, timing... Timing-wise, it worked out, I think, with Northeastern. Mm. It's just been improving, like, every season and, and recruiting, like, these amazing players. Out of curiosity, what's our favorite March Madness team? i got to go with Loyola Chicago. I mean, Sister Jean, dude. She's Can't the, go wrong. She's the old nun, right? Oh, she is the old nun, my friend. If she were to step onto the court, what position do we think she would play? You know, I think the sister's got to be a point guard. I just think it's in her nature. I think I would agree. I think either a point guard or I think she could be a, a good uh, big man down by the rim. I could see her be a big man. You know, she's got the big man in her corner already. So, uh... <laughs> what is your thoughts on the Sixers in the playoffs? Do you think they're going to clinch it? You mean win the entire playoffs? Yes. I want them to trade for Kyle Lowry, then I think we'll be fine. Or maybe Lonzo Ball. 
just like a just like a pretty good guard, not not like don't need a huge move. I think Sam Darnold would be one of the best backup QBs of all time. Tom, you still there, buddy? I'm still there. I just feel like we got ahead of ourselves there for a second. So just gonna, like, <laughs> let it breathe for a sec. Well, okay, I'm okay. Come back with a with a clear head, full heart. Which sports ball do we think is the best shaped ball? Are we counting uh, the hockey? Um, Ho the hockey, hockey ball? ball counts. What if we get Lonzo Ball, but we have to trade Matisse? That's not acceptable. <laughs> but what if that's the only option? Reject. Premise. I want baseball. some minor league baseball in my life. I'm yeah. About no, that. literally, I would go to Hartford, Connecticut. Oops, she froze. Okay. <laughs> you froze. Sorry. What you say? I thought you burped. <laughs> Who do you think is the best backup QB of all time? Oh, it's got to be Kyle Orton. Are you kidding me? The thing is, there's two ways to look at this question. It's who is the best actual quarterback to have been a backup, mm -hmm. or who is like the most backup -y backup quarterback. And if you're going for the latter there, that's easily the Ort man. Do you have any other thoughts on the Sixers? Um, yeah, go Sixers to everyone else. Are there any others, really, besides well, everything's round except the football and a hockey puck, really? Uh, I, I think that's about right, yeah. Or maybe would a curling stone count? Oh, all right, I'm going curling stone. Uh, I, I think I think that's definitely the best sports ball. You've come a long way since your days with NUTV Sports uh, back in the 60s. <laughs> back then, actually, it was all film footage. We actually had one of those old rolly cams where you had a little hand crank. Pearl wants to ask people questions. No, really yes. Not. Hello, Pearl. No, no, per I'm asking the question Pearl proposed. No. no. Okay, so uh, Pearl wants to know, what's... This is a very organized what, operation. What's your, here. Oh, and what's your favorite NUTV video that you've ever been in? I like the 24-hour one where we um, went into the future and then everybody died. Oh, yeah. You were really good on that one. Thank you. Field Day is legendary. It redefined <laughs> NUTV sports and NUTV forever. So I would have to say Field Day just in that sense. I think I got to throw it back to probably the greatest video uh, my generation of NUTV sports put out, which is NUTV tries uh, baseball. This video is, is pure, pure genius, just sports being dudes. That's really all, that's really what it's all about. I was in some real humdingers back in the day. I directed one when I was in entertainment called Pump Killin', and it was about these like demon pumpkins that were uh, were invading Northeastern, and I was um, one of the pumpkin demons, and I got murdered. Sports astrology was a really fun era. Really good senior vibes for me, and and very happy memories. And I I think it really culminated everything that any TV sports was. A little bit of a shit post, but also sports there was a video david made like three years ago in entertainment where it's just drew and james like shopping in uh symphony market and then they're at the euro place right next to it yeah that that's probably my favorite new tv video i've seen the first bracket dome we ever did with the jalapenos because we didn't know what we were unleashing onto the world at the time i had never just eaten a jalapeno straight like you know raw, uncooked, uh, unprepared in any way, so <laughs> everyone was sitting in the office crying together. It was a real special moment. I hope to live up to your senior year accomplishments when I am a senior. That's so kind. When you get old, it's coming yeah. up. We have a surprisingly really talented group. Okay. Or when I say we, I mean y'all. Um, hey, you're, you're, oh, still, yeah. you're still a part of this family, Tom. You, oh, thank you. Uh, I was fishing there, and I'm glad you bit. Well, thanks, Owen. Um, you're welcome. This has been fun. This is Cassie, by the way, if you remember me. Thanks for calling in. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah, and happy birthday, Joe. Thanks for calling the show, Tom. Uh, it's been great to catch up. Don't be a stranger. Tommy, you called me. Hey, man, it doesn't really matter the details. It's whatever gets us talking, you know? Lose this number. Well, thank you yeah. so much. I will talk to you soon. Uh, good vibes only. Bye. Uh, I appreciate you taking the time today. You're very welcome. Thanks. This was a blast. Right. Love you guys. Take care. Have a good day. Please leave your message. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man.